Hello and welcome back to my channel, Bosi Taros. Um, please don't forget, people, that I also offer uh, readings on my website. That is bosytarot.com. That is B O A S S Y T A R O T S dot com. Over my website, you could get um, a personal reading or a love reading or whatever reading I do have available on my website. Please um, don't forget to visit my website if you need any personal readings. So today we're going to be um, doing a reading on the YouTuber Aaliyah J. And let me state my disclaimer for this reading. This reading is strictly entertainment and is done in satire, okay? Nothing mentioned here in this reading is a proven fact. Everything is all alleged. And this reading is not to disparage Aaliyah J. This reading is simply for me to interpret my cards and to give my opinion on what the cards mean. Again, this reading about Aaliyah J is strictly entertainment and done for entertainment purposes and is not meant to disparage Aaliyah J. Okay, let's begin the reading. I'm just going to be doing a six card spread today. So the first card here is 10 of Pentacles. This card is showing that currently at this moment or allegedly Aaliyah J is spending more time with her family and friends. And I'm seeing that she's spending more time uh, with her mom and dad and um, her closest family members. And that this could be anyone that is currently around her or she's maybe going to visit them more or um, just spending a, a lot more time with her family members. The second card is... The Fool card. The Fool card. Okay, this card is showing that Aaliyah J is uh, possibly or allegedly starting a, um, a new path in her life. This could be one of many paths or one of many new things that she's doing. Um, I see that she's going on a new path in starting over with everything. And this could be um, a relationship. Uh, maybe she's no longer with uh, Menelik, her alleged boyfriend or her boyfriend at the moment. I'm not sure. But maybe she is no longer with him and she's going on a new path in her life where she wants to start something new. Um, maybe allegedly she's seeing that um, being in a relationship with Menelik um, was too problematic or it was just um, not working out to her liking and she wants something new she's looking for something new in her life at the moment because I do see that she's now tackling a lot of new things um, with starting new ventures for herself or restarting what she was already working on and she's looking for someone that is going to come along with her that's going to be contributing to what she's doing Okay, she's not looking for someone that's going to be stressing her out and not allowing her to completely be herself. And she just wants something new. She just wants to go on a new path and to see where this new path takes her. Okay, and once again, this is alleged. Okay, these two could still be together. Um, but if they are not together, this is what she's looking for or this is what's going to be a becoming. This is what's going to be coming in the future. The third card is Two of Swords. This card is showing that Aaliyah J could be possibly or allegedly thinking about some kind of um, decision that she has to make. She has to make a um, strong decision for herself right now, and that is to see maybe if she wants to continue to be in a relationship with Men Menelik, her boyfriend, or alleged boyfriend, and she wants to see if this is going to be a situation that's going to be working in her favor. So right now, I see that she is maybe contemplating or thinking a lot about 
um, what she wants out of her life and where she sees herself in a few years or even a few months. Not so long with the years, but I do see that she has some kind of um, big decision to make and she's thinking carefully because as you see here with this figure here in the center, uh, this figure here is um, holding two swords. Uh, and there's a moon here, which which is, um, I would say, intuition and thoughts and your inner thoughts. And this figure is also blindfolded. So maybe something that was once hidden in the dark, she is now seeing it for what it is. And this blindfold has came off and she wants to make a decision that's going to be beneficial for her. And so that it doesn't continue to stress her out because I do see that something here is stressing her out. Um, so this could be her relationship or this could be a business venture or other personal issues that we just don't know about. Okay. And this is alleged once again, but I do see that Aaliyah J is wanting a new start. And with the new start that she wants here, with going on with new opportunities, uh, new things coming in for her, that's going to be a blessing to her. She's seeing that, you know, whatever is coming to her, that is great. She wants to make sure that, you know, she, does, she doesn't have someone or something around her that continues to make her feel very negative or down or sad or depressed or she's not good enough. So she's um, thinking very hard on what she really wants right now for 2022 and in this situation that she's currently in. Okay, so the fourth card here is Seven of Wands. So this card is showing that Aaliyah J is allegedly starting to build up her boundaries with a lot of people. And this could uh, maybe be a variety of people, okay? This could be with her relationship. This could be with her family. This could be with her friends or business partners or acquaintances. She's starting to put up her walls because of lately or maybe before, People have been crossing her boundaries a lot. And because maybe she's a really nice person, um, she doesn't really stand up for herself and set up the boundaries with people to say, listen, this is what I will allow from you and this is what I will not allow from you. So she's trying to set up her boundaries and walls so people um, don't continue to cross them and disrespect her, which I don't blame you, Aaliyah. Like, listen, if you do happen to see this video, um, set up your boundaries, okay? Don't let people continue to disrespect you in any way because a lot of times when we are too nice and too understanding, you know, you don't see the disrespect. Like, people will say, you know what, she's too nice, man. She She's sweet, so I can really, dis, you know, disrespect her in a way that, you know, is an underhanded thing where they're like, she's not going to get it or she's, she's thinking that we're with her when we're not. So start putting people in their place more, Aaliyah J. If you do see this video, start putting people in their place. Let them know over here, so is not someone for you to play with. Okay, put up your boundaries and let people know what it is. Don't be too nice. 2022, people stop being nice. Okay, you can be nice, yes, but don't let people disrespect you. The fifth card is King of Pentacles. So, right now, Aaliyah J is allegedly wanting to be more financially secure, and she's looking for other alternatives or other venues or uh, ventures that's going to be making her some money. Right now, her main goal is to be um, getting in a lot of, say, passive income where she, she doesn't have to work so hard to make money. She wants to, when she, she wants for when she goes to sleep, she's making money in her sleep. And that's a great thing to want right now. And this should not just apply for Aaliyah J. 
look for stuff that's going to make you money even when you're not say working like when uh 24 hours you're always continuously getting in money so this is a great um path to start Aliyah. Continue to look for whatever thing that a uh, business venture is going to get you some money. But I would advise you, or not even say advise you, I would just suggest that whatever you're trying to look into that's going to be making you a lot of money. So where you're uh, more, you're a lot more stable than what you are now. Make sure that your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed. Make sure you look into whatever um person is coming to you with any information with um any deals make sure that it's going to be beneficial for you and that it's not going to tie you into something that's going to break your pockets or scam you out of your money where you end up losing money instead of gaining money I would just say do your research. Make sure you look into everything that's being um, handed to you or suggested to you to make you money. Because even though something may be looking like it's glittering or it's gold, sometimes it's, it's fake, right? It is fake. And there's too much scammers out here coming to people and telling them like you know yes this is gonna make you money and you feel like they, they, they're, they're they're trying to um gas up whatever situation that they're doing and to you know reel you in and then you end up losing your money so just make sure that you you look over every paperwork that's coming into you every offer that's being offered to you right now to get you extra money or passive income Make sure you look over everything because what you don't want is for when you have built yourself up so much, Aaliyah, and now you, you know, somebody come in with some kind of fake deal and, you know, make it seem like you're going to be making so much money and then in the end you end up losing what you just made, which is not a good thing. So make sure, look over every paperwork, everything that come across your desk, look over everything, right? Make sure and get your attorney. If you have an attorney, get your attorney to look over every paperwork being offered to you. And just don't get an attorney that is just an attorney just because. Make sure that this attorney or person that's going to be looking over your paperwork, make sure that they that's their field. You can't get a criminal you can't you can't get a criminal attorney to look over stuff that's being handed to you with retail or with trademark stuff, you know. No, make sure the that attorney that's their field. Okay, so the sixth card and final card in this reading for Miss Aaliyah J, as she calls herself, is the following card. Alright, let me just reshuffle here. Shop the deck. And the final six card is Eight of Swords. So uh, this card is showing that Aliyah J is currently feeling very trapped. She feels as if she is stuck in something that she wants to be set free of. And she's feeling like she can't move and something is um, over her eyes that she can't see or she just feels stuck. And again, this is alleged, but I am just interpreting this card and what the figure looks like and what this card means. So, Aaliyah J, if this is how you're feeling, start freeing yourself. So this is the, maybe this card goes well with the Two of Swords card here. This card is maybe what you need to make the decision of that that important decision that I was saying earlier that you need to make where you're you're taking off the blindfold see both cards here is the um figure with the eyes covered so maybe you need to see things for what it really is with a situation or with a person okay Stop saying to yourself, um, maybe I'm, you know, looking too much into it or maybe I'm overreacting. No, when your intuition is telling you something and your body is letting you know and showing you something clearly, please listen to your gut, right? Please listen to your gut because your gut is not going to steer you 
in the wrong direction. A lot of times our body is telling us something is off. Our intuition is telling us something the right, but we are not listening to what our intuition is saying. And a lot of times this ends up costing us what so many precious things and even could cost you your life, right? So Aaliyah J, Miss Aaliyah J, I'm going to need you to listen more clearly to your intuition, right? And follow what your in inner voice is telling you is happening here. You are not over um, reacting with whatever situation you're going through now. You're not overthinking, right? Usually, when your stomach and your body and people show you who they are, believe them. Don't make excuses for them and say, oh, I may maybe want to try with this situation or try with the person. No, uh, no, don't try with people, especially when they're showing you who they are and it's the same negative nonsense. Listen, it's 2022, right? Listen to me, 2022 and we don't have time to waste. Life is too short to be sitting here wasting your precious energy, what the creator give you, right? So you have to look into yourself, Aliyah J, and see what is not going right with the people, the things, or whatever it is that you're doing, and try to change. Or maybe this could be you that needs the personal change to remove yourself and clear up your thoughts to be po more positive and to, to, to make yourself wear, um, into a better person. But again, Aliyah, Aliyah J, remember, you know, you've been coming from how far now? You've been doing your things for years, right? You've been doing your thing for years. So what you don't need right now is somebody to come in and make you feel down, sad, depressed, anxious, and feel like you're just not good enough when you are, in fact, good enough, right? We don't need no um, negative Nancy around here playing in your ears to tell you that you're not good enough when you are good enough, Aliyah J. And I really hope you see this video, you know, Aliyah J, right? I want you to hear these words. If you're not feeling like you are good enough, you are good enough, all right? Regardless of what or whoever these people are that's crossing your boundaries, right? That where you constantly feel like you have to be fighting, we don't have time for that this year, right? This year is for you to continue to build up whatever you're doing and to make your story a positive, uh, a success, right? We don't have time for when you're going to your bed, you feel your, your soul just feels tired or you feel like you want to cry. We don't have time for that, right? Our eye sockets don't have time. Time to be crying over some nonsense or some negative people that shouldn't be in your life. So I really hope you like this reading, whoever is watching this video. And if it is Aaliyah J that's watching this video, I hope you like the reading and don't take it too personal, right? I am just stating what the cards mean and giving my interpretation of the cards. But again, let me state my disclaimer, okay? This reading is strictly entertainment and is done for entertainment purposes, right? This video is not meant to disparage Aaliyah J, that is the YouTuber here on YouTube, and the entrepreneur, okay? This is not meant to disparage Aaliyah J's brand. This is also anything said here once again is not a proven fact this does not mean that Aaliyah J is necessarily going through what the cards state and mean here it's just for me the the card reader to interpret the cards and state what the cards mean so thanks for watching my video and i really do hope that you like this reading Please do come again and remember to always have a wonderful day and don't let people stress y'all out. It is 2022. 
and there's no time and place for stress over here. Okay, so have a wonderful day. Bye for now.